as your elected General Secretary for over the last 14 years, you know that it's not every day of the week that I come to you asking you to take industrial action. I know the type of work that you do, the way in which you care for vulnerable people. I know the family lives that you lead, and I know that the last thing on your mind is to take industrial action and the hardship that that causes. But there comes a time when it's right that we do stand up for ourselves. And there comes a time when we do have to take industrial action, when our employers will not negotiate with us, will not deal with us, and will not in any way, shape or form even contemplate giving our members employed in local government and schools a decent pay rise. Our members in schools and in local government have gone through five years of a pay freeze. We've gone through five years of paying for a recession and paying for the failure of the banks that our members did not cause. And during that time, the rich in our society, they've looked after themselves. Bankers' bonuses are higher than they've ever been before. The top 1% in our society, their wealth went up by 18% in the last year alone. And yet for our members, our members providing those community services so essential to so many vulnerable people. They have borne the brunt. And we found over the last five years that with the pay freeze and um, the rise in the cost of living, the rise in food prices, the rise in electricity, gas, the rise in essentials of life, that our members are now worse off by something like two to three thousand pound a year. And many of our members can't exist. Many of our members are now using food banks. Many of our members are worried about the future, not just for themselves, but for their families. And the only way that we can show how we feel about what has happened is by standing together and taking industrial action on the 10th of July. It's not something that we do lightly. We know, we know the effects it has on our people and on our families but we do have to make that stand. If we don't, we will be walked all over. So I call on everybody who's covered by the industrial action ballot in local government that we've just held, I call on all of you to show that strength on the 10th of July. Join us, join us outside your working places. Make our voice heard, because at the moment, they think that they can get away with anything. And we've got to show them that we will stop them. And that is why we're asking you on the 10th of July to show your strength, to join with us, to act as one, to act with one voice, to act in unison. And let's show these employers that they have to deal with us.